Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going for a walk by the Grand Union Canal and I'm in Warwickshire. I'm in the village of Shrewley. We're going to pass under this bridge here and on the other side of this bridge there is something really quite different to what you'd normally find. There's a canal tunnel. Now you can see up ahead the canal tunnel. Canal tunnels, you know, aren't that unusual. Always quite exciting. I always enjoy it when I get to go through a canal tunnel but it's that next to it there's another tunnel a tunnel which we get to walk through and that's what i'm excited about it seems it's one of those tunnels you get some tunnels so like an example the one at chirk you can walk through the tunnel there's a towpath inside the tunnel this one doesn't have a towpath so the men would have legged the boat through the tunnel and they'd have sent the horse to walk up over the top of the tunnel and hopefully the horse would have found their way to the other end but in this case the horse as well and any people who are walking over the hill would also get to go through a tunnel. Let's go up there and have a closer look. So although the canal is today part of the Grand Union Canal, it was originally built by the Warwick and Birmingham Canal Company. They obtained their Act of Parliament in 1793 and the tunnel opened in 1799. They thought they'd need three tunnels, another one at Rowington and one at Yardley, but the other two just became cuttings, a bit like what we have here. This cutting is quite interesting because in the middle you've got this sandwich of Arden sandstone. But there had to still be a tunnel here, the Shrewley Tunnel, which we're just coming up towards, because it would have literally cut the village of Shrewley in half, which we shall see when we get up there. A local vicar was very interested. He would come and have a look for fossils. The Reverend Peter Brodery, he'd come down and he found all sorts of fossils of, um, you know, prehistoric animals. So we're walking up here, as you can see now, the towpath is starting to lift away from the canal itself. And the really exciting bit is ahead, the, the tunnel. Um, so as I said, the tunnel obviously goes through. They'd have sent the horses over the top. I've been to other tunnels, like I said, the one at Chirk you could walk through. There's one at Odium down in Hampshire, that one where the tunnel's blocked now. You physically can't get right through but with that one um it would have been the same i don't think there was a towpath so you'd have walked over the top we're now well the sounds actually called graywell um but it's near odium we're now approaching this really quite exciting i've not seen anything quite like this it's just funny seeing like a big tunnel with a little tunnel above i can hear the sound a boat did just go into the tunnel i'm sort of half wondering do I wait here and see a boat come out? I think it's just the echoing of a boat, but there's clearly a boat in the tunnel right now. Today's um, people who ride on boats, they don't need to worry about legging the boats. Some of them might switch it off just for a laugh and leg it through, but it's not uh, something that's necessary. So it says 396 meters there, so it's about 430 yards long. So you can hear all the, I'm just gonna stop talking and let you listen to the sound of water. So you can hear all the water. It's a very wet cutting, there's water dripping everywhere. And then ahead of us here, this is the little foot tunnel. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk up through this foot tunnel and this should take us up to the village. So see the last of the tunnel there. And then what we'll do, we'll walk over the top of the hill, find the other end. Look at this, it's amazing. I can only assume that there's residential gardens above and that they didn't want um, you know, horses and everything, walking through horses, you know, leaving manure in their garden. So they built them this tunnel to push them underneath. I don't, yeah, you can see, you can see how the, the bricks, you can't see my face, but you can see the tunnel, yeah, for the horses to grip as they make their way up here. And then the last bit where it gets a bit steeper, there's some steps. I think these steps are a later addition. Get that concrete. So we go up these steps now, and this should take us up into the village. This is really fascinating. I've really not come across something quite like this before. So here we are. That is the other end of the tunnel. What we need to do now though, we'll continue on up to the village, and then I'm going to find the path that will take me down to the other side, and we'll find the other end of the tunnel. So, so there's houses in front of us. I can see just on top of the tunnel, so it's a greenhouse, so possibly it is just that gar residential gardens were there and they didn't want to disrupt them. 
I think this is the village centre here now. It seems to be a road anyway. Yeah, we're in the village centre. Uh, yeah, well, it seems sort of funny to think down there somewhere below us, there, there's a canal tunnel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here because this is the way, but down there is the nearby railway. Um, the, what is now the Chilton Main Line up towards Birmingham. South of here is the station of Hatton. There's no railway station in this village, but the railway passes through, not in a tunnel, in a cutting. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk off down there. While I walk down there, I'm going to let you see this clip of a train passing through the cutting. I hope you enjoyed seeing that black five pass through if i go to somewhere like this i tend to plan it around that i'll make more than one video on a day so if there's a steam train running i can go and see that and then make some videos like this if you want to see the rest of that video um see where else i saw that train have a look at the link on screen now i've been chasing it about all day anyway we've come down that little lane it's turned into more of a path and then it goes a bit steep and down there i can just see the water. I don't think we get any exciting tunnels this time to go through. I think we simply just a bit more like your average canal tunnel. We'll just come down the hill and find the tunnel. Let's have a look. So there's the canal in front of us. So it's, it's pretty much a dead straight run underneath the village. And uh, there we go. I can hear the sound of that boat. Have I beaten a boat over the top of the canal? I didn't think I would but maybe the boat's going a bit slow or maybe he's just got the engine on tick over and he's legging it I'm not too sure <laughs> anyway um it sounds like there is still a boat in the tunnel and i'm going right down to towpath level and then i'm gonna go off and uh, try and see that train again somewhere else so that last say that's all in a separate video so here we are we're down at the other end of the truly tunnel there it is in front of us so i hope you've enjoyed this video Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And from Truly Tunnel in Warwickshire, goodbye.